What's going on guys? I'm out here today. It's super early morning. It's high tide right now, but it's uh, getting ready to go out, so it's slack tide. Should be great fishing out here. I'm just out walking around on these beautiful beaches on the Oregon coast here. I'm doing some surf fishing and gonna fish off some rocks and um, also keep my eye open for some crabs because there are lots of crabs walking around in the surf out here. I've got my waders on. It's December and I'm just gonna walk around and fish and explore. There are fish just right there. I could see them all of a sudden streaking, like really shallow, just streaking through the water. Yesterday when I was out fishing, I went a long time without catching at one. And then on the first cast, when I started to slow down my retrieve quite a bit and just kind of let it go naturally in the current, um, I caught a fish. So this morning I'm gonna start off with um, just letting my bait kind of let let the surf take it a lot more and just slow my retrieve getting a bite oh shoot missed him dang it boy that's just right in this really really shallow stuff I mean inches inches of water Got one. I was just letting it sit there again. It's a surf perch. Red tail surf perch. Excellent. You know, I'm gonna keep him because he fits perfectly in that little frying pan I have, that little travel frying pan. So if I catch anything bigger than this, I have to cut him up into chunks. So I'm gonna keep this guy. Nice little crappie there. Crappie of the sea. Sweet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it. Look at this. Look. Oh. Just walking along. Big crab. Male, too. That's a keeper. Oh my gosh. I was hoping, I was like, I'm just going to walk down the beach and I'll just have my line out behind me kind of trolling. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> that is way cool. <laughs> Look at that. It's a male crab. You can tell because it has that yeah, narrow symbol on the bottom. Uh, females have a really wide, like a rounded one. And I, this, that's been the luck this trip is just walking around in the surf and catching these Dungeness crabs every once in a while. Because so, I caught the fish and then I thought, you know, I'm just going to walk around while I'm fishing. See if I get lucky again or blessed, depending on how you on your world view and uh, that's so cool I'm gonna find I can actually look across the ocean here and it looks like there might be like some rain coming and there are lots lots of sea caves and stuff around here so I'm gonna go um, try to find a sea cave and cook a little breakfast starting to rain out here man though it, it is a gorgeous morning out here and I'm the only one out here all I've all down that beach and all down that beach. I guess that one doesn't go very far. It's kind of flooded out because the high tide right now. But I have this whole beach area to myself. This is amazing. There's this beautiful waterfall up here. It's starting to rain. I'm just going to go right in this cave here. Cook up 
some crab and fish. Wow. This looks like a good spot. Rinse the fish off in the water here. That waterfall is so cool. There we go, fish is prepared. Sweet, now we just have to start up a, a little propane, uh, propane stove. So it's pouring rain out there. Not pouring rain, it's like a it's like a thick mist. I'm gonna start up my little portable camp stove here. Screw this in first. There we are. All right. Turn this on. So I can hear it good. There we go. <laughs> nice. Nice little flame going. Put a frying pan right on top. Oh, I love this setup. Getting ready. Get my butter out here. I have this beautiful view of the beach, and the waterfall. Mm. This is fun. This is living right here. Don't want to burn my butter. Take it off. I'm still learning how to use this thing because it is a little bit uh, tricky. I don't know about the heat and stuff, what I should do yet. Let the butter melt down. Oh man, that looks so good. Butter's melted. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take the tail off this fish real quick. Yeah, I'll feed that to the seagulls later. And just put the fish in like that. Now we're cooking. fish. One of the problems with catching and cooking fish when you're hungry is you eat most of it out of the pan before cooking them thinner. Oh man, look at that. Fish is done. You dredge it through a little bit more of that butter. Mmm, that, I don't, I, that combination of lemon 
and Cavenders on there. So good. They have that crispy skin. That's like the perfect bite right there. And this is so good. And now, while I have my flame going here, I'm gonna cook up the crab while I'm eating this. First step to cooking up the crab is to get some sea water. Because we're gonna boil them. Set that right on stove top there. Very carefully. And I'm gonna turn this up to high heat. See what high heat looks like. Nice flame going on there. A lot of boiling water before you know it. And then to put it on efficiency mode, I turn this thing upside down. And it helps helps the flame get higher. So that way we'll have boiling water faster. And I'm gonna sit back and eat this surf perch. All right guys, so we're gonna prep our live crab here for cooking. And before, I, I don't just tear his legs off or tear his claws off. I always kill him first with a rock. Um, and then tear their legs off. It's just the uh, humane thing to do. All right, you can see there, I just crushed his, crushed the top of his shell in. And uh, just tear that off. Feed that to the seagulls. They'll pick at it. Then I'll Wash the crab off here. And then you're cleaning a crab. I always just grab like right there and tear off, basically that's like the jaw, kind of. And then the uh, reproductive organs. Pull off all of these little doodads and stuff. And I just break it apart right in the middle. And I have two sections of fresh crab. Gotta clean off some of that stuff. But then I have two sections of fresh crab right here, ready to eat. Oh, that fish was tasty. So I'm kinda good there, <laughs> just the bones left. Feed that to the seagulls. My water's just about boiling here. And I'm just gonna have a few crab legs this morning and uh, then the rest of it I'm gonna put in a Ziploc bag and save for later. I definitely, definitely want the claw. Just gonna break that part off. Stick that right in the boiling water. And I'll let these legs cook for about 15 minutes. There we go. There are the crab legs. It'll uh, come back to a rolling boil once uh, <laughs> once got some fog on the lens of the camera there. There's some steam. It'll come back to a rolling boil once the legs heat up. And since the water, since we got salt water from the ocean, we don't have to add salt to the water, which is normally what you have to do when you're boiling seafood. So that's nice. It's been about 15 minutes, and that crab definitely looks done. Let's take that out of there. Woo. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that. A bowl of fresh crab legs. Just like that. 
start by pulling that little thing off. You can always break this first. That part usually comes out. And the crab is this fresh. It doesn't need butter. I just throw the shells out there and the seagulls will come and pick through everything when I'm done here. In fact, they're already circling out there. Look at that. This is living right here. Look at that. Oh, man. Nothing better than that right there. Look at that. For all you fishermen and outdoorsmen out there, this is the only way to enjoy the Oregon coast. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. This, the Oregon coast is amazing. It's, it's one of my new favorite places to come. Got to enjoy so much of God's creation today. Got to see seals, crabs, uh, fish, all kinds of different birds. It's just, it's so beautiful out here. And for most of the morning, I was the only person out here. So, it's so much fun. I definitely recommend it for all you outdoorsmen out there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.